All right, y'all, so I'm gonna do a real quick video. So this is for the Jesse Dean JDDX2RS. So we're gonna do a quick breakdown of this fader. Um, so there's really not much to the fader, you know, as far as just the outer casing, the two screws. Then if you flip it over, you got your circuit board plus your other two screws, a few bars. But uh, you're also gonna get a couple of rubber washers as well little spacers so let's take this thing apart it's not very hard to do you basically phillips head screwdriver you're gonna take this little screw out here don't lose it like i just did <laughs> and there it is uh then we're gonna take out this one here i'm just kidding i didn't lose it it's actually right here so anyway, that little part's just gonna pop off there, okay? So now what you're gonna see is you're gonna have your little spacers here, plastic spacer, plastic spacer, bars, your slider, okay? Now what you're gonna do from there is you're gonna take these two little screws out here and that'll take this uh, bracket and everything away from the circuit board, okay? So, Let's take out this screw. Okay, and this is like if you really, really wanted to like deep clean your bars and uh, take everything apart and take it all to the sink and wash it with like soap and water and whatnot. But anyway, now you can just take this little bar out here, or not the bar, but the board away, and then you can actually see under here, here's your little contacts. These are the contacts that actually rub across these. Wow, it's really bright here. Little contacts here, if you can kind of see that. Man, I, there we go. Jeez, I don't know why it's so bright over here. Anyway, so those rub against those contacts there, okay? So then from there, all you have to do is take this little guy off here, like that, and then you have access to the slider, okay? Now, you can actually see there's a little tiny washer on here. For those of y'all who don't want the double cut and it's just not something that appeals to you, all you have to do with that is basically take these extra rubber washers and put them on the side you don't want to cut out. So, you know, the more that you put on one side, then when you push it over, it's never going to hit the end, the other end of the actual board. Okay, so that's basically how you get it to where you don't want it to cut both sides. You know, you just want it on one side, one cut. Okay, so that's how that works. Anyway, let's take these back off. Off, please. Off, please. Okay. Now, like I said, if you wanted to take these apart, do a deep, deep clean, then all you got to do is pull that away from there. Pull all of this off, and then you can go clean your boards. Are your boards your bars and whatnot okay so let's put it all back together basically you're just going to take the two bars put it in these two little holes here like so okay take the other bracket it's going to have your screw hole on the top there or i'm sorry this is the bottom this is the top okay so you're going to have that and flip it around where the two holes are two holes see that those are going to go right into where the bars are going to fit. So now you have that together. Now all you have to do is take the board here, line it back up, just like so. Then you have your holes lined up here at the bottom, just like so. Okay. Let's see what happens if I flip it around. nothing same thing so anyway now you're gonna take these littler screws that go on the bottom here pop that guy back in just like that okay then all you gotta do is just kind of screw it down don't tighten it just yet just get it to the spot you want okay then all you gotta do is line up this other hole here we are now lined up 
I believe. Boom. So we're lined up. Boom. Tighten that one down. You know, don't over tighten it. Just tighten it to where it's snug. You know, all of these screws, you don't want to over tighten because you don't want to break anything, okay? Now you're just going to take this bracket here. And if you look one side, the holes are completely flat. Okay, it's all flat on the end. That's the side that's got to go down on top like this. And you can see that these holes are actually kind of um, countersunk. Okay, so that's where those bigger screws are going to go right on top. Like this and like this. Get your screwdriver. Bang. Bang. And it's back together, okay? Just like that. So that's basically how you take this little guy apart. If you wanted to clean it, you can clean it that way too. If you don't want to deep clean it, you can always just get some rubbing alcohol and a Q-tip and then kind of clean the bars, push that to the side, try to clean the contacts underneath on the circuit board as well. You just want to be careful to not bend those little fingers underneath, all right? So hopefully that helps you guys out and uh, keep on practicing.